for me, the 2011 Q4 was a remarkable quarter. Singapore met all its commitment, Dresden met all its commitment, and Malta started on a good start for the first silicon. So 2012, we are pretty much committed to to get the, keep the momentum uh, going. Uh, we will be ramping uh, Malta Fab. We have uh, announced uh, three plus billion dollar capex investment in 2012, and. Uh, we will also introduce 20 nanometers into uh, into Malta Fab in 2012, roughly around June time frame. Dresden will continue with the 32 and 28. Basically, our 28 nanometer is virtually identical to 32 in terms of high metal gate. It really puts us ahead of the curve because we have shipped several hundred thousand wafers of high metal gate in 2011. The, our competitors on foundry side, they have not shipped more than few thousand wafers in Q4. So our 28 nanometer is going to be putting us well ahead of the curve because, the, like I said, it's a high metal gate, same process, uh, virtually identical to 32 nanometers. In addition, we are still working on 14 and 10 nanometers with our partners, JDA partners. Since we don't have the homegrown R&D, we work with the collaborative model of R&D. So we get the best of the best brains <laughs> in uh, using the all parts of the technology uh, uh, equation. Right. So I think it, in our case is going going really much better than uh, than my views from customer uh, competitors point of view. Example, people thought gate first will never work. Right. But didn't we prove everybody wrong? It is because of our unique model which is collaborative model of R&D I think this really works much better so so I'm very happy and very proud of the way we, we have the R&D model that that we use the collaborative R&D model so going forward in scaling I think that that kind of uh, collaborative approach gives us the advantage of learning from each other's ideas and uh, brain power of collective brain power of many different uh, people, different cultures, different companies, different entities, different institutions. If we were not a collaborative model, guess how much money we'll be spending ourselves in trying and find out, oh, it doesn't work. So in parallel, we can be working on two or three different approaches, and then we know which one works better, and we can integrate that into the into the, the new, new flow. So it's, uh, it's the right model. Actually, I'm a firm believer of the collaborative model. I've been saying in, uh, in the industry, I've given many keynote speeches about collaboration. So it's not even as a, as a global foundry uh, executive I'm saying this. I said that in my previous life as an executive in Philips. I promoted that collaborative model. I believe in that. I mean, just an example, it's not a uh, my previous life interview, but in the, in the past in Philips, we had a collaborative model between Philips, TSM, uh, Philips ST, and uh, Freescale, uh, so-called Kroll Alliance. We worked together there as a competitors, but we still work together on a collaborative model. It worked very well, you know. So it shares the cost, but we get best of the best. I think the, the biggest challenge going from 45 for 40 to 32 slash 28 was the high metal gate. So we have overcome that challenge. We've done very well. Prior to that, industry struggled on 40 nanometers. A lot of people did not have the, the right yield for, 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 for months. Now, going from 28 to 20, we are going into reverse metal gate, the, uh, the gate, gate, gate last. So this is a bit of a challenge for us. But the bigger challenge will come in the photolith. You know, in the litho will be a challenge. So doing a double patterning or triple patterning or quadruple patterning, that's one thing. But going to 14, especially with the tri-gate, non-planar structure, I think that will be a challenge. And next disruptive technology will be EUV. I mean, that's going to be a challenge. After that, it's 450 millimeter wafer size. That will be a challenge. So, but you know, in this industry, the reason we are where we are today is because of all these kind of challenges were there from the time I started in the industry 30 years ago, 30 plus years ago. I remember during my time, uh, in the late 80s, we, people used to think there'll be no semiconductor technology after one micron, you know. Guess where we are, <laughs> you know. 
Exactly. So exactly. we're talking about uh, nano uh, atomic layers of, of uh, dimensions, you know. So I am I'm sure there are these challenges I talked about, the disruptive technologies. There's a lot of brain power working. The collaborative model really supports, puts us in much better position to deal with these things.